Shopify payment setup. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can set up payments within Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log into my account that I've already created. So if you haven't created an account, just simply enter in your email address over here and click on start free trial. Now I have created an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'll catch you guys in a second. So as you can see, this is my account. This is my admin over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you how you can set up payments. So to set up payments, just simply navigate down over here at the bottom left corner and simply click on settings. And over here, you will see you have a bunch of different options. You will see you have plans, billings, user permissions, payments, right? So simply click on payments. And over here is basically where you get all of the options. So over here, you'll have three options, payment provider, supported payment methods, and manual payments. Each of these will have their own options. So you can go into payment providers by clicking on choose a provider and over here you will see you have a bunch of different options you have to check out aiden airpay you have all these different options that you can use and if some of them aren't available in your country it will say unavailable in your country so that means that you can use this option you will have other options as well such as add payment method over here supported payment methods simply click on add payment method and over here you can search for a payment method wait for it to load up and you can just simply choose which type of payment method you want you have visa mastercard american express you can even search by provider just simply click over here you can see you have a bunch of different options by provider so if you wanted to let's say select a visa card and maybe a mastercard and maybe american express but i think that these two generally do it and then you will have this option in front of you such as a skrill ocean payments ping pong checkout to checkout counter plus i pay and all of the other ones as well so you can go ahead and activate them by just simply clicking on the activate button so if i click on activate it's going to ask me over here about to checkout convert it's going to ask me what do you want to do you just simply connect your account you just simply connect your Shopify account to your true checkout account and you will be done. You can go with that one or you can go with a manual payment method. And over here, if you click on manual payment method, you will have bank deposit, money order or cash on delivery. If you click on bank deposit, you just simply set up a bank deposit over here. Display to the customers what they're choosing as a payment method. So over here, just enter in your information or the additional details that you want to enter in. And you can add in the payment instructions as well. You can say like, pay to this number send a screenshot to this number to verify your payments and then we will process your order so you could go with this one as well but i feel like that's a bit tedious you want to automate your process so for that we're going to go over here and choose a provider and over here for me since to checkout is the only one that's available for me i can go ahead and choose to checkout account now setting up to checkouts account is very simple you just simply create a to checkout account all right and you follow these steps, these 10 steps accordingly, and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna open it up in another tab over here. I have created a two checkout account, but I'm just simply gonna go ahead and sign up and create another account. So the process is very simple and it's free as well. So you don't have to worry about that. Although creating a two checkout account can be a bit tedious because they ask you for a lot of information when you are activating your account and i'll show you guys in a second so over here just enter in your first name last name your business email password and a website so in name i'll just say john john marston and in the business email enter in the temporary email that i have and then for password i'll just suggest a stronger password because i don't really need to remember that then for the website we just need to enter in our website details which is over here as you can see this is the website so i'll just copy the link address come back over here and paste it right here and i'll just erase these excess letters https and the slashes just simply knowledgemd.myshopify.com yeah check your country and then verify that you're not a robot and click on get started once you have done that this is how it's going to look like so over here, what type of product do you want to sell with to checkout? It can be digital software or online services, retail physical products, offline services or others. So we want to select retail slash physical products since we are connecting it to our Shopify account. And then we just simply click on create account. Give it a couple of seconds for it to process your account and you are good to go. All right. So as you can see, thank you for creating a to checkout account. Now you just simply click on login into my account and you are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And over here, just enter in the username, which is gonna be your website and the password that you set. 
and just simply sign in into your panel into your admin or dashboard whatever you want to call it and this is how it looks like now all this data is a demo data so you don't have to worry about that uh, this is where you activate your account right start activation simply click over here and these are all the details that I was talking about so you have to input your business details product details account settings documents and then you get a summary right so it's very detailed and it's a lot of details and a lot of information that you have to provide in order to activate your two check out account so in about your business you just simply enter in your business name partnership country address zip code all of that you enter in your financial details of your company such as your company registration id tax registration id annual online transacted volumes and chargeback rates and all of that if you have some stakeholders within your company you can add them as well but if you don't you can leave it blank you have your about products which is you know you have to input your description about your products what type of product they are what category they fall into you know instructions for reviewing your product as well you have to input a lot of different information in order to activate your two checkout account now since i don't have a lot of these options what i'll do is i'll just simply save this for later because i just wanted to show you what you would have to do in order to activate your account right so pretty simple this is it so let's just say that we have activated our account and we're good to go now what do we do in order to sync our to checkout account with our shopify account it's very simple so underneath payments if you go back to your shopify account underneath to checkout you will see you have your setup instructions right here these are simple instructions nothing too crazy you just follow them and you're good to go right so as you can see login and activate your to checkout account we've done that next is to access the integrations and webhooks and api sections in the c panel so which is over here if you go back into the two checkouts website we come under here onto integrations you will see it's over here onto the left hand side you click on the arrow and it's going to say webhooks and api just simply click over it and it's going to take you over to that option so over here as you can see we are in webhooks and api and underneath api you will see you have merchant codes secret codes and all of that let's go ahead and go back into shopify and see what we need to do next so number four under the api section copy the merchant code and paste it within the merchant code section within this page so you can see it's right over here merchant code and you have your secret word as well so then once you have pasted that next what you need to do is you need to generate a new ins secret word and paste it in the secret word section in this page which is here so let's go ahead and do that first we need to copy the merchant code which is this one right here we'll copy this code by clicking on this button right here copied to clipboard now we go back to shopify and we paste this merchant code right here once that pasted let's go back to our to checkout website over here we scroll down we can see this is the secret word section and here we have the ins secret word which is the instant notification service so what we need to do is we need to generate a new code for this one all right we need to copy it and then we need to hit the save button to save that code now that that's saved and copied we'll come back over here onto shopify and in secret word field we'll just paste our secret word there we go let's paste it now we go back over here and next we need to enable redirect urls so let me just confirm it what we need to do over here step number seven here we go in the redirect url section check enable the return after sale and then for the redirect url section leave it blank and shopify will provide that url for you number nine is going to be for return method select header redirect and then just simply click on save settings very simple let's go ahead and do that so back over here onto two checkouts underneath redirect and url you will see it over here we need to enable this one and we need to leave this one blank approved url we need to remove leave it blank shopify will provide that for us and underneath return method we need to select header redirect once we selected that we just simply click on the update button and it's going to save all of our changes as you can see over here congratulations saved successfully so there we go it's very simple nothing too crazy now we just simply go back into shopify account and then scroll down and then we just simply click on activate to checkout account now if you want to test it you can test your to checkout setup by simulating a successful and failed transaction so enable it if you want to test it but if you don't want to test it you can leave it blank then just simply click on activate to checkout account and your account will be set up pretty simple pretty cool then just simply hit the save button on the settings option over here and you will see to checkout updated very simple very easy so this is how you set up a payment setting 
or create a payment gateway within Shopify. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.